They say you can tell the health of a city by the number of cranes dotting the downtown skyline. If that's the measuring stick, then Orlando is in tip top shape. Fox 35 anchor John Brown recently sat down with Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer and they discussed the state of the city. Orlando is booming. In fact, an estimated 1,500 people move here every single week. You know, some cities are in decline, and I'd much rather have our issues with, um, with growth than have their issues. There have been numerous changes over the past eight years, but one constant is Buddy Dyer in the mayor's office. What's it like being one of the mayors of the few cities in the country that's seen this kind of unprecedented growth? You know, since I've been mayor, we've had growth. So as I visit with my other mayors, I'm happy to have the issues that we have, which are making sure that we provide adequate transportation and then manage growth in a smart way. Now that I-4 is nearly complete, a lot of people wonder if that will be enough to handle the boom. Roads, however, are just one aspect of travel on the master plan. So we need to continue to expand transit. So that would be SunRail, getting it to the airport so that you wouldn't need to go down to the airport and park. You could um, take the train directly to the airport. Another big issue is creating enough affordable housing. That means using existing property wisely so people can live where they work and slow urban sprawl. It seems like that we have um, a pretty cool skyline, but if you think about it, there's so much real estate still in downtown to be redeveloped. That is being done right now with several major residential developments. Also high on his agenda is expanding our tech cluster. We've been working on Creative Village for a number of years, and it's really coming to fruition now. Several high-tech firms are already open with dozens more to come. That is coupled with the downtown education cluster of Valencia, UCF, the Florida Interactive Entertainment Academy, and FAMU's Law School. So it's a great live, work, play neighborhood that is going to cater to the digital media industry. So that's a vision that we've had for 15 years, and it's coming to fruition. Another cluster is the Entertainment District, which will see growth this year with the Orlando Magic Complex being built, the expansion of the Performing Arts Center, and tying together our major sports venues. Our city's recognized as one of the great urban centers in America, one of the up-and-coming ones. Many big city mayors are managing decline, but Dyer is managing dynamic growth as businesses and people discover that Orlando is much more than just the theme parks. Are you surprised that a lot of people move here and say, wow, you guys have a downtown. I had no idea it was this vibrant. Yeah, because, you know, you can fly into the airport and go to Disney, Universal, I drive without being within five miles of our downtown. So sometimes it's a hidden gem. But everybody that comes to explore it, it's like, oh, my gosh, this is so great. I didn't know. John Brown, Fox 35 News.